here's a little sneak peek of the intercom and the camera system so if I ring the intercom you see it jumped to full screen mode on the TV both screens are on hello I can talk okay you can unlock if you want now also the camera from the system is right now on top over here and if I ring the bell again it's gonna make it jump into full screen mode I'm gonna cancel that right now now if I go to live view I click on IP camera uh, let's say I choose camera number five I'll take a second for it to load and camera number five is this camera over here now let's say I'm gonna choose a different camera on the system that's this camera over here so I was able to see all the cameras and now if I go back and I go to the main screen and I go live view uh, sorry if I go to my call center uh, let's say I want to call a resident so I could press 2 and here I can answer Let me mute both of these. Both of these are muted. Now this one over here has a camera. I could turn it on. So now that one could see the as well. So I have communication between all of them. Here's this nice little setup. Next little thing is if I go to the main screen and I present the card. Open. The access control jumps up. Now if I put the wrong card on it. It still pops up, but it gives me an error now. If I go into my search, and I do an event search, and I'm not going to motion, I'm going to video intercom, and let's say I want to see card access denied. And it's only going to be, again, card access denied. I clicked here, I got that choice. Door one. To a search, opens up the time with the wrong card on file. And when you put it, also it has information stored on the wrong inf on the card that was declined. It's a little setup, all self-contained. Strapped in, one NVR.